Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to create an ornament design animation in Adobe After Effects with giving it a 3D depth and look to get more interesting and it is pretty easy to create. As you see in this example here, we have this uh, nice animation. Let's see the second one, what we can do with the same techniques. Um, here, we have this one here, giving it like uh, replicating effects. And in this one here, uh, so actually it is easy to create. Actually, this one was um, just a shape here, just a picture, it's a JPEG uh, ornament design. So from this one where I can create something like that or more complicated. So the first thing you need to understand uh, that if you have your ornament design made in Illustrator, you can bring it to After Effects. But in case you have a JPEG file here, like we have, you need to auto trace that. You can auto trace that on Illustrator, which is going to be more good and have more tools to refine things there, but we're going to do everything here in the After Effects. So to auto trace that, uh, click on the layer and then go to layer auto trace. And the first thing you need to know that there's channels need to be in luminance because we have a JPEG file and there is no alpha channel there. So hit luminance and then hit preview so you can see what is selected there. In most cases, it's going to be accurate and auto trace things. So hit OK and then it's going to create that on auto traced ornament solid layer. So let's see here. So it's it created a mask here, so we just need one mask, which is this one. So this is the mask of uh, everything here. So what we're going to do is copy this mask and then just um, copy this mask and then create a shape layer. Just double click there and we create a shape layer. Let's put the fill on it and then paste. So it's going to paste that on, or actually just delete before paste, just going to um, our rectangular path and then convert to Bezier path. Click right and convert to Bezier path and then just copy that on this pad here. So we have our shape layer copied here. So the first thing we need to do after this step is with any element you have or design, we need to break the whole shape into elements. So for example here, we can have elements this shape element here, this part on a shape layer, and then this one on a shape layer, and this one, and so on. So, for example, we're going to have like five or six uh, elements on individual shape layers, which we are going to do. So, in this example, uh, we are just going to select everything and then just click and start deleting the other things. So we keep this one. Just like that. Easy to do. Any you can do any refinement quickly. Like here. 
just need to do the same here. So we have this, and I already make the rest of the shape created here. So I am having all those already created, so you don't have to waste time on that. So I have here just like those elements here. So I have four elements. That's enough for the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is um, creating a mask on the shape, like each each uh, element needs to have a mask. So how to create a mask, I'm going to delete the mask. So if you don't know how to create a mask on a shape layer, just uh, start making our mask without stroke or fill. It's going to create a new shape inside the shape layer. And always keep in mind, you need the first vertex from where the, the animation is going to start for all of them. So you just need to right click and set a first vertex. I already have that set, so the same with other ones. So like the animation goes this way, the other first vertex should in here. The same for this element, the first vertex here and this one here. So now it's created for us um, a shape. So we're going to copy that path and delete it and then create a new mask and then paste that. So it's creating uh, the mask for us there. So we just, you can here do some more refinement. So that's enough for this. So the same thing is going to be for the rest elements. So what we are going to do now, we are going to apply a stroke effect. It is on generate, then apply it on this, on here, on these elements and it's automatically is going to recognize the mask and then going to pin style and then choose reveal original image so what is here we need to press size make it bigger then we are going to animate the end of that so this is what's going to happen like this so we're going to start at keyframe that at zero and then some frames to 100 then we're going to easy ease that to give it a nice animation here the way I like so maybe this is nice so it's nice and smooth so the same thing we are going to apply for each individual uh, element. I already did that. So except with the last one, I scale that, I scale it. So just to, you need to scale that. You need to know that you need to scale, uh, change your anchor points where that element needs to grow. So, and give it some, uh, nice back end uh, animation. You can use it with expression ease and ease. Um, so for now, we have this nice animation. It's need more refinement, but you got the idea. So now, what we are going to do is to make it look more like a very complicated shape. Um, create a null object and parent all of those elements to the null and then duplicate 
and then duplicate all of those. So and uh, you can move it here. Then uh, on the second one, on scale, we're going to reverse on X. Please give us the mirror. So let's uh, align those two. As you see here, we can bring that to make it look like this. So we have the first element. So we're going to duplicate that again. And bring those. So now you can keep the same or, for example, here on this one, we go on to reverse on Y axis. The same for this one on Y, so. Let's align those together. Well, so as you can see now, we have like really complicated animation just with a few uh, mirroring elements here. You can keep going if you want more. So until now, everything is done for animating your ornaments. So what we need now to give it the 3D look, what we need is applying an effect, uh, first create adjustment layer, and then go to the effects and tip hole of mirrors it's from read giant it's a third party plugin so after you apply that to adjustment layer what it's going to give you like a replication of the rest of the elements so here it's really easy to uh, use this uh, effects the first thing you need to see this offset the offset is like where those replication are going to end. So then we're going to scale. We need to scale that until 0 0.99. When it's one, it's on a flat. If you more than one, it's bringing things to the front. So we need that just in 0 0.99 there. And then it's really flat. You can see anything. So then go to transfer mode and then soft light. It started giving some nice shading. You can move that to give some like a dip there and then go to fade and then you start fading and blending with the original which is the front layer so the front uh, um, the front elements of the whole object there so until now even if you crank that image images doesn't really get right off those but it's a nice effect here you can uh, play with uh, the offset you can put it the way you want so this is how to create this like a 3d look ornament effects and 
you can do more with that actually just by tweaking uh, other parameters like in this one we just actually change the rotation you if you change the rotation you replicate and you get some nice result like just by doing some really you can animate that and uh, end with some really nice um some really nice effects so hope you like this tutorial and like and subscribe for more videos coming soon thank you for watching